Thanks for staying with us. As many of you know, starting a business in Nigeria is not usually the problem because we get lots of people saying, I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to start a business, start a business. But sustaining that business is a whole different ballgame. Join us on the show is Dr. Olumide Emmanuel to speak about business sustainability. And he has a summit coming up in um, September of, of this, uh, this month, the 30th of this month, on how to help you sustain your business. Welcome to the show, Dr. Olumide Emmanuel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good thank to have you, you good you. to have yeah. you. So as I was saying, I mean, every day, lots of people are going to conferences telling you don't have to deal with the nine to five, you have to start mm -hmm. a business. And the start of this business is going well and then into the tough times and they are thinking, hey, should I go back to nine to five? It's not easy, it's not, it's, you know, this is difficult. How do we build sustainable businesses in our country? How can you scale? And you start small. Well, thanks for having me here. So um, good news for all business people and entrepreneurs. Um, the Business Sustainability Summit is all about helping people solve that problem. We already know that over 80% of businesses fail within the first five years. And within the next five years, another 80% fails. And one of the reasons for that is because a lot of people are actually going to business for survival. When you go into business for what to eat, what to drink, mm. then you are not going to be able to have a long-term and transgenerational plan. Mm. Because for your business to go beyond you, you need to have a transgenerational vision, a transgenerational plan, and a transgenerational strategy. But most of the time, when people just go, I just want to take care of myself, take care of my family, that mindset will not help you. Mm. And that's why, um, well, the, the summit we're having, you know, I, I'm the global president for the Billionaires Conclave. And the Billionaires Conclave is... Uh, a network of high net worth individuals and entrepreneurs because when you begin to make some levels of turnover in hundreds of millions and billions, you have fewer people that can counsel you at that point, fewer people that can advise you. Yeah. Uh, because when you are in primary school or secondary school, you need a teacher. By the time you get to university, you need a lecturer. Yeah. Teachers don't work now, they, yeah. they become lecturers. But all through life, you need mentors and coaches. Yeah. And the Billionaires Conclave is a network where you can network with other like-minded people when you are talking billions, you are not afraid that somebody is thinking of so, and then you are able to get the right information that will help you ah. in that particular field. So from time to time, we put events together to help people because it's a close conclave, so it's not for everybody. So if you're but a billionaire, from, you can't join. And not that you're a billionaire, well, it's you're less expensive. than... Uh, so I see the flyer, it's only billionaires. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a billionaire's <laughs> conclave. So, um, the, so the network is not for everybody, but from time to time, we now do events where we invite other people to come which is what this is all about. So the Business Sustainability Summit is born out of what has become a reality in this post-COVID world. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are still doing business the way they used to do it in 2019. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that things have changed. We now live in a post-COVID world. Customer preference, customer expectations have changed. And people don't realize that even the world that we live in now, if you understand the landscape in the marketplace, we are now in what we call a VUCA world. V-U-C-A. Yes. Volatile, uh -huh. uncertain, complex and ambiguous. And for you to be able to continue to do business in that environment, you need to have understanding of how to do what needs to be done. And that's why we need people to prepare to be a part of this summit come 30th September 2022. So yeah. let's do the cost implication. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as, okay, well, that's why it's public. We're bringing yeah. it up because it's cheap. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, come and learn so that you can grow to become a Conclave member. Mm -hmm. So now, um, it's a fully residential event, okay, and it's just three hundred and fifty thousand naira. Okay, just three fifty for a whole. How many days? So, it's, so many? it's one day. They come in on Friday, so it's eight a.m. to four p.m. Okay. for the first session, okay. where we're going to be having six sessions, okay. and then in the evening there is an exclusive executive dinner with me, okay. where I do a mentorship okay. session yeah. from seven to nine. And then you sleep the next day, you fly out. Check out. So, like but for those that are within Lagos that say, look, I don't want uh, to sleep, I don't want, then we can allow them to come for the morning session, which is 9 to 4 at. Okay, let me give discounts, that, which yeah. is why I'm here to just tell them about the discount. Uh -huh. So, for those that are in Lagos that just want to come in, they pay 200,000. The residential one, instead of 350, we pay 270,000. Oh, okay, so really you drop it yeah, so we just dropped it. That's why I said, well, let me come. When I got back, I've not been around. I came back, I said, okay, they said they have a list. I said, no, let's go and let's allow more people to come in. Right. So we have just like 11 slots. So if you are listening to me right now, plug in. 11 slots, wow. 11 yeah, slots. yeah. Okay, so uh, I like the fact that you keep mentioning mentorship because yeah. when pe people are looking for mentorship in business, 
And one of the things that I find really interesting about the Conclave is the, you know, offering mentorship, especially oh, yeah, to yeah. different people in businesses. So for someone who wants to come for this event, what should be their expectations? What should they bring and prepare their minds yeah, to learn? To learn. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at... Um, I'm going to be dealing with some specific stuff and I'm bringing in two other guys that will do what they... So number one thing I want to talk about is understanding the realities of today's marketplace. Okay. Just to help them to understand that, look, today's marketplace is not what it used to be. Mm. And then from there, we'll look at why businesses fail. Mm. There are lots of reasons why businesses fail. And we're just going to be able to give them 21 reasons why businesses fail mm. so that they will identify that. They will teach them how to rise above bankruptcy. Mm. What are the warning signs to look out for? To know that, ah, it's as if Uncle Lord, oh, the way this thing is going, there is yeah. trouble, so that you can adjust yourself. Mm. Then I'm going to do a session on leading in tough times. Mm. Because people don't know how to lead when things are tough. Yeah. So they get confused, they get paranoid. So how do you lead in tough times? Then I will take a session on positioning yourself for growth. Mm. What are the different areas of position you need to have as an organi organization to grow? Then we have Namdi Ezebo and we have Tara Peladro to a coming. They both started business in 1998. I've known them. So these are people that are all conclave people. So they've, they've started business for about 25 years now. Mm. How have they been able to sustain, to sustain that experience. business yeah. in the midst of all the crises? Tara started while she was on campus. She's gone through in the midst of COVID. They locked down everything. When there was answers, her store was burned down. How are you able to undo that? When you look at uh, Namdi, he came in, started as, you know, just repairing telephone mm -hmm. in the Kedja. Then before you know it, look at what slot has become all over the country and look at what they're so How have they been able to survive? So that you will hear from billionaires, practical, practical people that have done it for 25 years to show you these are the challenges I face. That's why I said, okay, let me bring a male and a female. Mm -hmm. How are you able to handle with children and everything? So it's an amazing opportunity that people should not miss. So just make sure you call the numbers and get ready to be numbers on, board, are on yeah. your screen. The already. numbers are on the screen. Call those numbers. My guys are waiting so that you can come in. So I, I really want couples to come. Mm. So if you are married, because a lot of time when one person is mm. knowledgeable, the other person is not getting it, it can affect. So let couples come. If you are married, come. And if you are outside Lagos, come. It's fully residential. Mm -hmm. Instead of 350, you are paying 270. Mm -hmm. But if you are a married couple, two of you are coming, I can break it down to 250. So oh, that will now be 500. So that since you are staying in one room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can break so that you can come and learn. Yes, and then for those of you that are in Lagos, no, no, no. we just do 200,000. But the 200,000 does not include the dinner. Hour. Okay. Uh, just, for for, just for 4 p.m. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes. It's only those that are leave, sleeping in the hotel that oh, we'll meet in the night yeah, because yeah. Good. we I'm don't sure know when we'll finish. That instead of yeah, me. because we don't know when we'll finish. Mm -hmm. so, you know, so I wanted there. to ask, you know, getting to meet someone like Tara or Namdi is not something you have that happens on the Yeah, event. of course. So yeah. a person who attends this event, can that person get a lifetime mentorship access? Do you get access? Well, to when, you, when, when you come for any of our events, mm -hmm. one of the things I do with my events, there are, there are like three major things that are regular with all my events. Number one is money back guarantee. Mm. Every event I do, I give you a money back guarantee because we are sure what we are doing. So mm -hmm. if you come, you don't get it, we'll return your money. But it has never happened that anybody asks for that. They are like, wow, it's even more than we expect. Number two is you are part of a mentorship platform because mentorship is in levels. So there's a general mentorship that anyone that comes to any of our events, you have access to be able to ask questions, at least to, eh, I'm planning to do this. What do you think? That one is there. You don't need to be a conclave member to enjoy it. So anybody that comes, they will enjoy that. And if they want to assess anybody that can assist them, we'll see how we can help them. To okay, let me go on a break. When we come back, we'll, now that we've talked about the Sustainability Summit, we'll still discuss sustainability because I'm quite interested in helping people a bit. Stay with us, we'll be right back.